Good morning, everybody. I didn't know I was going to be introducing, but I'm happy to do so. Uh, you know, I have to say, I'm going to start off, uh, I'm going to take just two seconds. So we were talking about those theme songs, right, earlier. And because my mind goes in weird places, I started thinking about, like, what my theme song would be. But then I started thinking about what other people would say my theme song would be, right? And so, like, my, my thought would be, and how many of you guys like Curb Your Enthusiasm? Raise your hand if you've seen Curb Your Enthusiasm. Okay, so I was thinking that my theme song would be the Curb theme song because... I try not to take myself seriously, and I'm kind of a smart aleck. But sometimes I walk into a classroom to talk to kids or talk to a teacher, and I feel like in their head, their theme song for me would be the Darth Vader, the dun, 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 dun. So, so anyway, so uh, we've got four people up here that are going to talk to you about inclusion um, as a culture at Reed High School, something that we're so, so proud of. And uh, coming back to theme song, um, we've got here Taylor Trowbridge, one of our special education teachers. Tammy Nichols, one of our special education teachers, Tia Henderson, one of our amazing Reed students, and Jordan from Special Olympics, and they're going to talk to you about our culture. And I think that their theme song, um, if you guys know the Kanye West theme song, All of the Lights, because they shine a light on our kids as a part of our culture, and I'm so proud of that. So without further ado, Team Reed. Good morning. Um, thank you, Josh. Uh, my name is Jordan Clements Fitz. I am the Northern Nevada Sports and Schools Manager for Special Olympics Nevada, and I'm here today to talk to you um, with my team at Reed about some pretty cool programs that we uh, started at Reed and we're trying to grow through Washoe County. Um, so we're going to talk to you guys a little bit uh, today about unified sports. So what is our school's partnership program? Um, it's a unique K through 12 education program that works to unify special education and general education students through a variety of different avenues. We're really working to build those inclusive campuses on, uh, or on, at your schools and fulfill your second fundamental um, through the Washoe County School District. Thank you. Um, so how this program came about, it's no secret that bullying is a huge epidemic at our schools um, nowadays. One in three students ages 12 through 18 have reported bullying. I'm just going to stand up here. <laughs> um, and when you look at those statistics, students with disabilities are actually two to three times more likely um, to be bullied than their typically developing peers. So we have um, this culture of kind of segregation that's happened throughout history um, in our schools, and we're kind of trying to reverse that. And I think um, our school district does a pretty great job of that as well. And again, we're here to kind of accommodate that. If I could add the next slide. Um, again, students with intellectual disabilities are less likely than students with any other type of disability to spend time um, with their peers in general education settings. We still do have a lot of self-contained classrooms and students that aren't as um, much of the population as we would like them to be. Um, and then a recent youth um, survey done by Special Olympics North America indicated that less than 30% of general peer education partners would even feel comfortable speaking to a student with an intellectual disability. So we still are seeing a lot of that. Um, divide in our schools. So how does our program work? So um, ideally we'd have a partnership between the school entity and Special Olympics Nevada. And again, Reed's going to talk to you a little bit about how that works. Um, last year we had seven what we call unified champion schools in our school district. Um, this year we're aiming to have 20. So we're looking to up that number by quite a bit and we can't do that on our own. Um, you have an area manager, that would be myself, that would work with your school coordinator and support the functions of this program day to day. And then I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about unified sports versus whole school involvement, which are our main initiatives. So unified sports is our main one. Um, that's the main component of our program. And it's really partnering the general education students with special education students on the same sports teams. And this is separate than your typical varsity JV sports. We're not looking to pull kids that are already in those programs. Um, what we're looking to do is target those students that maybe don't feel confident enough going out for a sports team and really immersing themselves in their school's culture. So who qualifies as um, a special education athlete? Any athlete or any student receiving special education services at your school is verified by the site administrator. Who qualifies as a peer partner is any other student on your campus. They can have as little or as much um, sports experience as you would like them to have or as they feel comfortable having. Um, we've had kids from the varsity sports teams who had extra time and then we've had kids from leadership that have never played a sport before. So it's really up to them. We offer three official sports through Special Olympics um, Nevada, and that would be soccer, basketball, and track and field. Now that doesn't mean that that's what you're limited to um, participating in. 
So Reed's gonna talk a little bit about their plan to add unified cheerleading this year. And um, O'Brien Middle School is actually gonna pilot unified softball. So there's a lot of different options that your guys can um, bring and it's really flexible to every school's needs. Um, our second component is youth leadership. We really want them to be, the students to be owning as much of this process as possible. And T is going to speak to her um, experience with this program and her role. And our third component would be our whole school involvement initiative. So that's getting every other kid on your campus involved. And we do this through a variety of ways. Um, fans in the Stands is a popular one. The R Word campaign where you spread the word to end using the R Word on your campus. Um, and then getting them involved in different fundraising activities or partner clubs that we can do. Once you've reached all three of those components, you are recognized as what we call a unified champion school. And you would receive one of these banners um, that has decals for every year that you continue to be a unified champion school. And there's grant money involved as well from Special Olympics North America to help offset the costs of the startup of your program. So the important thing is for you guys to let us know if you already have these programs going on, let us know how we can plug in and help those programs. Again, we're not looking to add something to your plate. I know administrators are really busy, your special ed teachers are busy, your PE teachers are busy. Nobody wants one more thing to add to your plate. Um, but a lot of schools already have inclusive PE and we don't even know about it. Um, Piccolo and Huffaker Elementary are great examples of this. They already bring kids from Huffaker every week over to Marvin Piccolo for Unified PE. So we plugged in and give them a lesson plan and now they're getting grant money to help offset these costs. So it's a really flexible program um, and it doesn't have to start all at once. So I'm going to turn it over to um, Tammy with Reed and she's gonna talk about how they started this program and have grown it into a full on champion school program. Okay. Um, so our first year we started with basketball and we did it after school and we had a turnout But it wasn't fantastic and so the experience was so um, Uplifting we had a student that you'll see in one of the videos who is amazing at throwing a granny and making a three-point shot and the crowd did go wild but there wasn't much of a crowd and we decided that uh, we would, part, we would uh, partner with our administration who was very supportive and um, we all found value in that experience and we thought we would bring that to the whole school. So the next year we did an assembly and so we built in the game to be part of the assembly and we had that during the R Word campaign uh, where students um, signed a banner that they would no longer use the R word anymore. And then we had festivities during the um, week at lunch. And then we ended the week with our assembly. And you'll see a snippet of the first year's game and the snippet of the second year's game. And really it's super easy to get started. I mean, we both um, have special ed classes and it doesn't have to be a partnership with the PE teachers. It's just one student, one teacher, making a difference for your students. And so we really encourage that. And so we've broken down kind of what works for us. You know, your assemblies are about 40 minutes when you're at the high school level. So the game had to be about 20 minutes long. <laughs> so the quarters, the halves were, um, they were four minute, ha or four minute quarters. Um, and we had five students. We had the sidelines filled and we had cheerleaders cheering. Um, and then we had the dance team performed at the halftime. So it was pretty amazing and a lot of people got involved. And um, before the game, we built it like a true um, basketball game so that the ROTC presented the colors and then we had um, the national anthem and then we had um, the game. So it was pretty impressive and you'll see a snippet of the assembly and how the whole school came together and really cheered them on, sing, uh, saying MVP, MVP. And we had a kiddo with a trach, and he made three three-pointers. And the crowd was amazing, and we, people had tears in their eyes, and it was just really moving, and it's something that we want to continue. So this year we are um, adding cheerleading to the assembly and basketball game, and we are working to play with Sparks this year. There's going to be some healthy competition. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to do our assembly, and then we're also going to play Sparks. And um, we attended a game last year where Sparks played North Valleys, and that was very impressive too. So the, it's it's out there. We just you know we just want to bring it um, full circle. We'd love to have some healthy competition with some of the other high schools. 
Um, I'm going to give it to Tia because she's the professional. <laughs> okay, so coming from a student perspective, I can say that this is absolutely life-changing. Um, I've been volunteering with Special Olympics for the past four years. I've been involved with Unified Sports for the past three. And when I was a freshman, I said, we need something else in our schools to connect our special education students with our general education students. And that's how this all started. That first basketball game, yes, it's chaos. Yes, it's crazy. But it really made a huge difference in our school. And my, I took on the job of organizing our, edu our general education students. And having our school support is the most important thing. As Tammy had mentioned, we had our ROTC, we had our band, our cheerleaders, our dance team, and even our leadership helping out. And to have all of that support really makes it possible. And on top of that, we have our athletes that are actually involved in the game. We have students who are refs, we have students who are running the clocks and the times, we have students who are coaches and managers. And so to have all of these students involved is really what makes it worth it. It's the, one of the only opportunities that the entire school has the opportunity to help out with our special needs kids. And this is one time that they're exposed to the capabilities of these people and what they can do. And people are actually really willing to help and these students absolutely loved it. Afterwards, I had so many comments saying that was the best assembly we have ever had. When is the next one? Can we do it again? We had students standing up on the bleachers screaming louder than they ever have at a varsity basketball game. We had students clapping when the special education students walked into class with their medals after the games. And that's really what makes it worth it, is having the support of our general education students and showing that it's good to be accepting, it's good to be happy, it makes you feel good. And to be so inclusive it's, is what really makes this worth it. So I think, we, I think we have a video to show and then we'll close with a couple details. I started with Special Olympics four years ago, and being a high school student, I really saw the disconnect between the special education students and our general education. And I knew that we needed something to bridge the gap between those two groups. So I started with Unified Sports, and that has allowed so much acceptance, so much flourishing with our general education students and our special ed students, and that's truly why I started this. I found that like it's actually way easier than I thought to just like be friends with them and have a normal conversation with them. Um, I think that's like one of the biggest misconceptions is that like you can't really like get to know them but you can and you can have those real conversations with them. Well I believe everyone that has an intellectual disability should be treated the same exact way as any other student in the school. Three. You made a three pointer. Three points. In the prep. Eh? Huh? Prep. Me. Yes they cheered at you. Yep. Was that your favorite part? Yes. Our first year starting with Unified Sports, we actually did a Unified Basketball game that paired up our general education students with our special education students and allowed them to play against each other at Reed High School in a competitive atmosphere and play a basketball game like our, our normal education students could usually do. Um, after that, we added track. So the next year we did both a basketball game, we did it at an assembly at our high school, and we also had a unified track meet that included all of our track athletes from our track team as well as our special education students. This year we are working at, on adding cheer so that we have cheerleaders at our basketball game and next year we're looking forward to adding soccer as well. Some new friends, I mean we talk and we hang out or we get ready like, to play on the court and we always talk or we shoot the baskets and it's the best thing ever to have like friends for, I mean, uh, for some teammates. Yeah, I think as long as you're accepting and you're ready to have fun and you're not going to judge people just for their differences, then I think anyone can do it because it's just, it's just ha you know, hanging out and being a friend. Um, any student can do it as long as they have like an open mind, they're willing to like work with the students, use people first language, and um, just like given that time at lunch and the games, that's all you really need. My grandmother worked with people with disabilities and she really inspired me to start working with a spe specific group of people. And when she passed away, I knew that it was my job to continue on her legacy and do what she did. So I became involved in Special Olympics and in so many other organizations that work with people with disabilities and I just fell in love with it. 
I, I like it hanging out with the teammates. Well, a lot of them, you have to explain it to them what it is. And if you're like, oh, that basketball game we did last year, um, I was in Unified Sports during that, they get really excited. They think, wow, that game was super cool. Like, it really brought the whole school together. It's a half by. Eh. I think I've always just kind of thought, like, that we're all gonna have our differences and we're not all gonna be, you know, having typical, you know, like we're not all gonna be alike in every way and that's okay. That doesn't mean that anyone is not as smart or um, social, you know, it doesn't mean that you're less than anyone else. So I think that it has changed just how I view people, but I think also that's already been there. It's making school for me lots of fun and I love it. So we make this really simple because we are special ed teachers and so we um, we meet once a week but you don't have to meet once a week. You can meet once or twice and get this thing planned if you just want to do a game. We jumped in everything so we have an assembly and we have the game and we run it like it's a true game um, so that they have the experience that everybody else has. So we meet uh, weekly uh, during lunch and then uh, we kind of facilitate and coordinate that um, all the people, players, are um, ready to go. And then, um, that, I mean, we don't make it very hard. I mean, <laughs> we try and make it as best we can for the kids. And it's all about the kids, so we really, it, it, it tears me up and I love being a part of this, so it's been fantastic. Um, one of the things I also wanted to talk about was you can get the whole school involved. We have ROTC come in. Um, the band came and played just like an actual basketball game. We had leadership make posters with each of the students' names on them. Um, and students were holding up the posters and it was super fun. So you can really get your whole school involved. Um, this is our track meet, what you need to do. And in conclusion, we would love to see you guys um, join us this year. We encourage you to start your team. Um, management is reasonable. If you have questions, you can contact us. Um, we put our information up on this next slide slide. There it is. Um, we want you guys to get involved, contact us. It's so much fun. Our assembly is scheduled for December 1st and our track meet is March 1st. So if anybody is in interested, please come join us. We want to see you especially at the track so we can compete against everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Reed, and thank you, Special Olympics. Well, I didn't know we were having a student today. How amazing was she? Yeah, I know I'm putting her on the spot here, but I'm asking her to tell us a little bit about herself, what grade you're in, and what you're thinking about doing after high school. I am a junior at Reed High School. Go, Reed. We're the best. Just saying. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm also a three-season varsity athlete, so I'm on the varsity dance team, the varsity basketball team, and the varsity track team. So that's really what inspired me to get involved with sports, and that's also why I want to go into physical therapy and sports medicine once I'm out of high school. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.